This Dungeons & Dragons story comes from when I played an Adventures League game. I actually wanted to put it into the original Adventures League video, however that video got full really fast with other content, so I had to push it to its own thing. We started out playing Tomb of Annihilation. The story was divided up into several chunks, and each session was just one section of the module. I got dropped into the middle, and was just following along with everyone else. Alright, I'm here with you guys. What's the story so far? Thanks for joining our group. You have the death curse now. All right, good meeting you guys. Time for me to leave this group and be heading on my way. We were trekking through a forest. In the distance, we saw that there was a crashed airship that was caught up in some trees, which we were following because of reasons. The people on the airship were calling out for help. We had to fight some undead, which were easy. The most dangerous thing here was Getting on the ship. It was 50 feet up, and we had to make two athletic rolls, and of course, none of us could climb. Several of the players kept falling off and breaking their legs and arms. Those vines, they wanted us dead. Eventually, when we got into the airship, the crew members were all exhausted, which in D&D speak means that they are just dead weight and completely useless. Now, our mission was to rest up for a day and then head back to the city, babysitting the NPCs, the whole way there. Yay. All the ship crew did was complain. Wah, wah, wah. We've been attacked by the undead. Wah, wah, wah. We don't have any food or water. One of the players piped up. All right, you guys, I've got two plans we could do. The first one is a little crazy. Let's go crazy. I've been waiting to do something exciting. Live life on the edge. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I've got this bucket here. I need all of you guys to stand around in a circle Drop your pants and pee into my bucket. Okay, uh... Hmm. What was the, the second plan you had? I mean, if, there, if there's another plan you've got, I, I just, I, I don't want to jump to conclusions. If, if you have another idea, I'd, I'd like to hear it out. I mean, no one wants to take any hasty decisions here. So his plan was to have everyone pee into a bucket and then cast the spell Purify Food and Water on it, which removes poison disease. So we eventually provided the crew members with clean drinking water, which they heartily drank up and thanks us for, for pr providing it for them. We spent the night camping in the back room with the doors barricaded. The room in front of us had all the crew members in it. At night, the ship got jumped by these undead gorillas. Because we were in the back room, and we had barricaded the other doors, the gorillas had to go through the front room where all the ship's crew was, and fight them first before they got to us. You guys, if we don't do something right now, the crew might die. And that would be a problem? Look, hey, what I'm saying is that we have two problems right here. We have hungry undead gorillas and thirsty people that need to be taken care of. All I'm saying is that these are two problems that will sort themselves out if you just give them enough time. A lot of NPCs were just straight up murdered here. The gorillas actually weren't eating people. Worse, the gorillas had four arms and would just make four grab attacks. If they won, the gorillas would pull the people to the side of the ship and drop them over, instantly killing them. And then the warlock decided to help out by casting Flaming Sphere. However, he forgot the fact that Flaming Sphere is a sphere that is flaming, as in, it has flames, and the wooden ship immediately caught fire. Oh, this is much better. Fortunately, we had boarded up all the exits. Did I say fortunately? I meant, we're all gonna die! We pried up some damage boards and made it down to the lower decks and started exiting the ship of the NPCs, climbing down on the vines. And this is where the ship crew started dying like flies. Even more than earlier, not the gorillas, but the vines. Because remember, all the ship crew have exhaustion, meaning that they suffer penalties when climbing. If they stay, they'll get burned alive. So it was like, all right, you guys, come down here. First guy, you're dead. You're dead. 
you're also dead. Wow, he's still alive. Just both of his legs are broken. Eventually we get down. We fight the gorillas and we win. We started the mission with 12 crew members and ended with two. And those ones lived by landing on the cushy pile of dead bodies that had slowly piled up. And we had also set the entire ship on fire. Thinking back on it, the ground is what killed most of those people. From then, we had an 18-day march back to the nearest town. I know that it doesn't sound like a victory, but I can pat myself on the back and congratulate me for a job well done. I have to pat myself because everyone else died hideously. Good job, me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.